Okay, today is day eight. I've got a 9 a.m. Uh, conference call, or you know, whatever you want to call it, with a uh, uh, a guy who has a garage wants me to help design. Then I've got my uh, psychologist call that I do once a week to stay sane. So uh, what I'm going to do here this morning is um, for my calls, get some laundry going. Um, I just want to clean things up, I mean, get things put away. Uh, we've been living in this kind of chaos, which then gives everybody permission to just leave everything around. So I'm going to put that away. I've got to clean up the closet and put the closet back. It was just painted yesterday, wiped that out. And then uh, I'm hoping to get into the garage a little bit here today as well. Start organizing that a little bit because we're doing the AC system on Tuesday. So by the end of this weekend, We'll have the kitchen organized. We'll have, because we just put everything away, uh, the painters will be largely done. Uh, we'll have uh, you know, just everything cleaned up and ready for living. And then um, we'll probably go to Bed Bath & Beyond and get a lot of the things that we need, like towels and stuff like that. So anyway, I'm gonna bring you along for the day. I also have to go over and shoot some footage with Savage Yeast. They're wrapping up their shoots today and uh, yeah, a lot going on. So I'll bring you along. So this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. They're just random. I have tools. Kate has hair stuff. Random cups. I hate this kind of crap. Um, these need to go somewhere. So I'm going to put that stuff away, clean up that thing and, uh, you know, just put some stuff away here and uh, I don't feel a lot better about where we're headed. And we got several of these, several rooms that look just like this. So I'm gonna work on them. Okay, you're gonna think this is nuts, but this room is back out of the closet because we needed to paint the closet. So now what I need to do is wipe down the closet, get all the rods back on and set it up. Ooh, let's see if they take all my trash. That'd be awesome. Okay, I've been tooling around all morning on meetings and uh, I gotta go to the garage now and record some stuff, but it's, this is pretty much the stuff that's going in here. I don't think there's much more. I'm probably gonna store some of the electronics in there too until I figure out where they go. But this all goes back to Kate's room when he finishes painting. And I'm gonna start to set up the display. This is some more garbage. So I've gotta mount these in Kate's room, and so this will clean up here again for the third time. I'm going to put our table back together and hold on, there's another microphone, but uh, electrician came, we've got 600 bucks to do that. The painters are still cranking away and um, I've got to order my appliances, but I'm um, headed over to the garage now, I'm jumping to GT4 and head over there to meet Mark and Jack to record some stuff for their videos. That's what I'm doing now. So these guys are doing their thing. Getting, getting a view of my uh, rusty brakes. Oh boy, is this what the uh, the guys brought up for? Yeah, yeah. Where are they? They go to lunch or something? I don't, yeah, maybe. I think I think everybody's on lunch. Uh, yeah. Uh, media guys and all. Ooh, yeah, yeah. All of that stuff over there. And <laughs> you you missed some some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, I, that, was that. that was on purpose. That was on purpose. I don't want to be slowing anybody down. So anyway, they're just shooting a pro rig setup thingy for our Civic launch. Is this a new uh, version? It's a new sample, yeah. So this has a another like laminate over top. Mm -hmm. So they're gonna they're gonna redo the labels with this laminate on top. It'll keep it nice. Mm. I don't know why they didn't do that from the start. But. So we just shot some segments for the, or some you know, some clips for the you know, the greater videos, but they're going to go do the undercar segment. And uh, actually, the lady right behind me, uh, the yarn lady, she said, um, hey, do you want to lease my building? Which I've been begging her for years. And so I got to go over there and see if I can convince her. I said, can I buy it? And she said, no, no, I don't want to sell it. And so, I was, shoot, if I can lease it, I may not move my shipping operations up there. I may just move them right behind. Easier. Yeah. Wow. That's that would be sick. Good. Yeah, all really sucked that I just spent 100 grand on that building up there, and I'm going to lose that. But it makes that building now usable to uh, lease, and I just get a, get a renter in there. So what are you doing now? 
tighten up this arm. We have two arms now. We have double arm. Running the magnetic arm. Running the uh, flow scene black arm and seeing what upgrades we need to make to get our setup pretty legit. The old third gen. People be excited to see it. This thing's super slow though, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely terrible. Yeah. yeah. So, this is a very real possibility that I end up leasing this building here, which is right next to my building, and I would just scrap the building that's up on 42. This is 3,200 square feet. It would buy us a couple of years. Uh, this would become media op operations, and we'd just keep doing all our shipping right here. But then we would end up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like another 12 parking spaces. It would be freaking incredible. I want this. I want this bad. Anyway, she's um, she's thinking of retiring, so there's a very high probability that uh, I'm gonna get this done. So, Dad, Matt <laughs> just came over and said, "Don't go that And said, "The young lady is retiring, and she's willing to lease him the building." Ken, how do you feel about that? Where's the building? What building is it? It's there. What are we, what are we doing? Right what, here? What's that mean? Chuck, chuck, chuck. That means are you serious? Matt goes there. We lock the door Another and truck? we stay here. Is it UPN? What are we doing? What, what are we yeah, shush. Shush. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask questions shush. about that building. Who cares about that building? It's there. You didn't want to go yes. there, Shannon? No. So what's 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 Matt feel about this? Matt's doing it. If it happens, he's doing it. I told her I'm in. We're in. I'm in. I'm in with you, Matt. We'll be a team. We're in. I'm in. I mean, it would it would help the whole situation out tremendously. It would probably save us a ton of money. I know. I'm doing it. She's if she's out, I'm in. I'm calling her tomorrow and say, "Are you in?" And the next day, right now. Oh, well then... No, we'll help her move. We'll yeah. help well, her yeah. move. Oh, yeah. Well, how heavy can the yard be? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, we can take move the yard. yard. <laughs> oh, I know from first-hand experience. That's how heavy? Yarn can be oh, there. we're in the pool. We move Chris. Oh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll move, move that yard. Well, we that, that's... I thought about that move, first time I moved the roll of carpet. I was like, how heavy can this be? It was uh, like a whole living room. We'll help her do anything <laughs> she needs. Just quick. get out. Yeah, yeah. Well, she has to sell off her inventory, so it would be several months. But we're several months before we get in another building anyway. I'll make sure you give her a, a shout out on the next podcast. And, uh, people are, uh, yeah, hey, we got some yarn here. We need you to buy. Yeah, we need everybody to buy the yarn up to get us in that building. I bet you people would do it. We could do it. We could. I'll buy your darn yarn. Yeah, buy the yarn. <laughs> How much do you want for this yarn? I have a whole shelf full of yarn. She has a lot of yarn, though. We, think we could knit sweater. Maybe that would be a side. She, said, side she has about $100,000 worth of yarn, she said, in there. Inventory. I know somebody who will buy the whole thing, lock, stock, and barrel. Well, let's see. Okay, Robert. Get off the phone with UPS and call that <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. Well. I'm, I'm 100% in this time. I'm not looking. I mean, that'd be awesome. We would have to get a guy higher, higher guest. Oh, Ted's sad because he was getting excited. He only had to drive one minute to work every day. <laughs> it was still it's the same yeah. distance. Is it? Yeah, it's yeah. Down, still go down 42. It's yeah. Nice. And then we could go up and visit Matt and see what's going on. Hey, I'm all for it. Just having to move the storage unit. The Even though that hurts my back, just thinking about it. The people will be so happy that they can help the both places. Yeah, I think it'd be great. Just a good old day at OG. All kinds of chaos going on. Look at that Civic. Sick. Everybody's all mad at me because they're saying I do. it doesn't drive straight. It drives pretty darn straight for me eyeball aligning it. We're going to go get the alignment done at some point here. Drive straight enough, Bryce. Don't give me crap. Yeah, to go in reverse. <laughs> yeah. We need to get us one of these vans here. All this gear, a gear van. So I want to. Maybe he's cutting that lot for me. I want to. I want to have that lot, and then 
lease the yarn building and then buy the yarn building and have this building have a little OG compound. Yeah, yeah. Look at that sitter. Keep saying that. Look out. I love this angle of that car. It's so tough. So small. It just looks cool. It's cool. And it's just, yeah, I, I used to do, always do the double take to walk back and yeah, be like, <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, man. man. Like, yeah, oh, check that out. Yeah, that thing's cool. Curb right there, you hit a pole, you're like, hey. Got the GT4 off for a little spin on the way home. Gosh, I'm really digging this. Uh, I, I promise I'm not being uh, overly optimistic. Like, I really am enjoying this house and where it, where it is and the community and all that. I get to go around this curve every day, which I do all go around it often, but it just feels different. I have an extra couple of miles to drive. got at least some semblance of normalcy over there at that little computer station here I got this cleaned up which I'm sure the kids will ruin get this kind of set up temporarily I don't even have that I doubt I'll even set up that sono speaker because I'll have my audio equipment over there um, and then I worked on Ryan's room and his computer um, I still need to have the painters put the light back on I guess I can do that but I don't really want to I put the mirror back up and I came over Rise Room, I put the carpet protector, um, downloading and installing Fortnite. It's been a decade since, more than a decade. Uh, 2008 is when I made my transition to a Mac. And so, you know, against Ryan's getting a new bed, and we're gonna set up a, a really cool desk in here for him. Something else, we're gonna you know, work on his room here, and getting it set up. Uh, but then I've gotta get the internet extended because I'm only getting a couple of bars here. But I at least set up this computer, got the account, Microsoft account set up. This won't stay here once I get his desk figured out and uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna think through how his room is gonna go. But at least I got this room kind of organized. I'm gonna vacuum it real quickly. And then we at least got one room that looks somewhat decent. Get him playing Fortnite in. Because I think he's I think he's a little dis disappointed because you know it's a Windows machine. It's a lot harder to figure out how to use, especially if you've never, he's never really done it before. I'm gonna clean this up here right now, and then I'll go back to the back room and start digging into that. Uh, tomorrow I'm probably gonna jump in and start working on the um, on the garage. But I've been getting laundry dialed in here. Uh, Michelle's at practice with the kids, so I'm trying to help her out getting getting this square away. But uh, yeah, making some making some progress and getting things put together. I've got to go get towel racks and new toilet paper holders and all that stuff here probably this weekend. And I want to do a quick vacuum on the floor. I've been, you know, vacuuming over and over again seems stupid. I like to just keep up with it. All right, what do you think, man? Is this sick or what? So I got them set up. I got it figured out. I at least just set the wires up temporarily till we get his desk. This screen's incredible. Show us how you play. You're, you're working on working all your settings. Okay. You like using the keyboard? You think you're gonna like the keyboard and mouse? Yeah. I just plugged the mouse in so it would charge up because it was dead. Oh. Okay. So working on the pantry. Mr. Jeff's gonna dial in the. Uh, texture and finish on our attached spots. We got our pantry emptied and uh, the doors. We got doors. So they uh, they always take the doors back to the shop and spray them so you get a nice even finish. So I know a lot of you are thinking why in the world are you doing that? Well the doors were all beat up and I wanted a slightly different white and this nice fresh makes it feel new. I'm likely going to get some new toilets and then, um, you know, the fresh paint, clean floors. Of course, I did everything backwards. I should have on the paint first, then the floors, then the carpet. But, you know, I don't live in life. Everybody, you can, you can tell me I told you so. So I'm going to go out in the garage and start um, 
unbox and stuff, getting the tools set up in tool grade, even though I don't have any cabinets to put it in, uh, because I've got this pretty well set up. I need to clean this up a bit, and then I can start to move the home theater stuff into position, and hopefully tonight and this weekend. But uh, it's coming together. You know, a lot of redundant work, but this is you know, how you really become uh, an expert in what you have and what you don't need, is by going through it over and over again. That's the plan. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get the cars out of the way. And I need to sell off some of my speakers, I think. But I want to wait until I put all the home theater stuff together before I start selling off stuff. So be patient with me, those of you who ask about buying stuff. So uh, I have all this stuff. And so I think what I'm going to do, so I have tools available. I have all this tool grid stuff. And then all my tools are in some of these boxes. And so I think what I'm going to do is get all the tools out. And I know this is be redundant, but it's going to be a while before I have cabinets in here. So I think what I'm going to do is you know, set up the tool grid and just kind of lay it out on the floor. You know, kind of rearrange and clean things up here. Get rid of that dog thingy that we, we don't need. And then once the painter's finished today, I'll be able to start moving some of the home theater gear into the house out of the way. Uh, so I'll have room to move stuff around in here because all these tiles I need to get somewhere else, likely over there. Um, so I can start, you know, measuring and ordering cabinets and things like that. Plus, I need to get all this stuff out of the way by Tuesday because the, you know, the air conditioning guys are coming, and I want to film this. Uh, so I want to make sure that uh, we have, you know, and, you know, we're not in the way, and uh, and you know, getting all this all this set up. So I think what I'm going to do is, is you know, big waste of time, but is to get all the tools out, rearrange where things are positioned. And uh, and put a lot of stuff against that wall over there, against the side wall. Uh, in order to do that, I need to get the cards out. I even thought about it. I might even put some stuff up on that racking for now, because uh, I want to leave the racking there and uh, you know do more of a you know, sort of a garage transformation. Uh, and we'll try to convince Mike to come out here and help me do this. But uh, that's I think that's the plan for today. I'm going to work on this. I do have to go do a podcast at two and uh, head over to the garage in a little bit, but yeah, that's what we're gonna work on. Okay, this is good. Got the flooring over here, which became my temporary toolbox. I unboxed and uh, got rid of like five or six boxes, put all my tools here, so that way, even though it's not on a cabinet, at least I can you know, just lift this up and get what I need to get when I need to get it, so that's good. I'll probably bring a couple extra Milwaukee tools over here so when I'm hanging pictures and all that kind of stuff. So the Swiss tracks is here. Hopefully the door closes. If not, I'll just override it, do it manually. So now I gotta figure out what to do with all this junk. Uh, and so I'm gonna put that back in a box. But now I at least, also I at least know where things are. So if I need some screws or if I need some sort of detailing stuff, I have it somewhat segregated. I'm gonna do a little bit more organization here. But this is the sort of temporary setup until I start getting into the garage in the next couple of weeks. Uh, and then again, most of this will be going into the house. So I'll get this stuff set up. And then um, you know, the, I can at least have some room to shoot. I can get the third car in here too. That's going to be good. If I can get everything over here along this wall nice and tidy, it would be much better than the way I had it set up before. So this is good. Got my test cases. So these are the CR. CR6T, which they have this deep dish design. I forget what that's what that's called. Getting the can recessed helps with light dispersion. So when you look at the light, it doesn't doesn't blow your eyeballs out. These don't seem as high a quality, but supposedly these are a better option over the traditional CR6, and they're not. So the CR6 that I had in my last house are not discontinued. The advantage of these is that you can do brighter options. So they have a, uh, an 1100, a 1600 lumen, and then a 825 lumen. The CR6, the regular, the non-T series, is quite a bit bulkier, has a heat sink on it. Um, they are, uh, they are 600 to 820, 25 lumens. So I'm gonna test these out. So I bought two of each to test to see what is gonna function best in the house. 
Uh, so my, uh, my landscaper came by and we talked about uh, cleaning this mess up. And we came up with the idea of just extending the pavers right here. He's going to start out here, start cleaning this up. It didn't cost me 200 bucks a month to maintain. Uh, I'm going to have to get a, uh, you know, I want to spray companies as well. Uh, but he's going to clean this up, get rid of that darn, whatever that uh, magnolia tree is called. But we're working on one step at a time, getting everybody squared away and getting this place completely dialed in. Chasey ran away, ended up making his way into the neighbor's house, so I had to put the leash back on him. He flew right through his fence. He's looking a little sleepy now, but he likes hanging out here with me. But look, I'm down to in a few boxes working on it. Let's give you an update on the inside. So we have doors. We're working on the doors and the hardware, putting those back together. And then we have... Um, Texture. He's got the, we've got this, ooh, filled textured prime. We got a little coat of paint on this done. And then, looking through, getting all the trim painted. Ooh, yeah, fresh paint on the entry trim. Got the first coat there, so the wall's been textured, and this will need a, probably two coats of paint. At the doors again, the doors are going back in. It's happening by you know, hopefully by the end of the day we'll be able to start living again. Maybe start maybe hang my TV this weekend. That'd be sweet. Need to get back to laying on the couch, that's what I need. Alright. You got big bro. Little bro, big bro, and nerd, their nerd friend, their nerd neighbor. The Model 3, I'm going to take the Model 3, put an autopilot, just cruise. I can't find my wallet. Got to find it. All right, finished up the podcast. Uh, I'm going to go home and finish working through my garage. It's pouring down rain. That's good, because the uh, Tesla needed to get rinsed off. What do we got going in here, bros? You want to give people a sneak peek of the Civic stuff now? A little bit. Nothing. A little something. Little peekster. We're gonna have some real EDM. Can I do just like some cool voiceover for this or something? Is that the plan or what? We could do one. We can. We can do one. You know what I'm saying? We do a little both, a little bit of both. Like tell the. Yeah. Well, we're gonna do like you know, there's gonna be a highlight video so people can just watch it. Yeah. They can kind of see yeah. just a high level of view of the car. No, no text, no really, or just very minimal text. And then um, we'll probably also have that on the website for the giveaway. They can just click it and watch the car. Got Get it. excited about it. Like, oh, we're going to have multiple videos of this footage. Well. When do I need to make some video on this thing? When do we want to make the... Um, probably next week we should film The full video. list video? Cool. Yeah. Yeah, we can shoot that earlier, maybe Tuesday. When is this launch? Monday? Yeah. Yeah. Shoot. Time's flying. I'm gonna be dead soon. <laughs> got too much cool stuff. Yeah, no, we got a lot. See my pumpkin RS went for two fifteen. I should have bought it. Yeah. If I didn't just buy my house, I would have bought that thing for sure. It was at one eighty nine the reserve. Yeah, yeah, one eighty seven five was the reserve. I think. I've been. That would have been a good car to shoot some of this stuff. But. Yeah. Oof. Four thousand mile. Dot one RS, yeah, I'm gonna That's get one. Sick. I'm gonna be kicking myself on not getting that car someday. What's the plan? I on want a dot two though. Another one always shows up. So. What's the plan on the M3 E46? Still looking. I mean, I, I, I talked about it on the podcast again today. Don't send me no seventy-five thousand mile jank car. I want some freaking ten thousand mile perf perfection. No headliner drooping. Yeah, yeah no, no droopsters. No, no, droops. no giant, you know, dent holes in the front of the freaking hood. Holes. Yeah. The dent hole. Like some of these people, these the, the even the one of the car at EAG it has like craters in it. Yep. I can deal with a rock chip, but not a freaking giant crater. Do people want to see this? Uh, this little secret spot in here. What are we doing? I thought you were doing. I thought you were installing that. Oh, do you you're, want me to? You're waiting for. Uh, yeah, I will. Let's let's yeah. If you keep holding out, I'll end up doing it here at some point. You said you couldn't wait and you were going to do it this weekend. And I was no, going to no, 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 no. 
Well, that was two weekends you ago. You got that anxiety. Yeah, I got stressed out. Oh, you decided you needed you needed daddy to help you install <laughs> it. Daddy, help me. You. Get this guy out of here. <laughs> <laughs> He's worried about the wiring. Yeah. It's fine. I'll get in there. And yeah, Bryce, solder. baby hand, just, baby just, hand, solder nerd it up. Yeah, just destroy, <laughs> destroy my DME. And your harness, your main harness. I'll put some Radio Shack old wire we found at Matt's cabinet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. Yeah, from the old Civic lights up there, yeah, just start yeah, packing yeah. it up. Yeah. yeah you do some extensions, uh, some wire nuts. Tape. Just yeah. do wire nuts in there. Let's do it. Yeah, commercial electric, wire nuts. Let's do it next weekend. And then next weekend I come and say, how about we do it the next weekend? <laughs> how about the next weekend? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not feeling I'm doing so with the house this weekend. I don't know. Yeah. I'm having so much fun with organizing crap. You have no idea. Even though I'm tired as crap. I wake up. I can't I can't sleep. I'm too excited to get things organized. Yeah. I can't no because the painters, but the painters I think are, are done. Are you done throwing away stuff? Not yet. I'm just getting started. <laughs> just getting started. Starting things out? Yep. Can have a bunch of home theater gear up for fire sale. Can have a bunch of tools. A bunch yeah. of craftsmen. I need some craftsmen. I need some tools. Yeah. Well, I, I told you you can have first dibs at it. Okay. I got a value it. It's worth at least eighteen hundred bucks. This is yeah. like this is going to be like in a cardboard box and like there you go. Yeah. Not even, not even. He's just waiting to catch me for when I just want it out of there. Like, yeah. hey, just get this out of here. Just swing by. Hey, yeah. let's shoot something real quick. <laughs> Okay, can you take this with you while you're at it? <laughs> exactly. Tuesday. Tuesday we gotta do the, the AC install. Check out this beauty. So there's no draw or, or, or need for them to buy black tailor doors from and three's looking good. Civic's nice and clean. These new um, gym tiles for Swiss tracks are garbage. Sorry, oh. sorry, Swiss tracks. These are no good, no good. Not. They're like a rubberized tile that I got because they're you know, they made them for like home gyms. Well, this is for a home gym. Somebody who's like um, doing curls with like 12 pound weights and benches like uh, doesn't bench, does like uh, toe touches and. Some jumping jacks. That's their, that's their method of uh, working out. Not for me. It's now on your PC? Yeah. Sweet. Does it work? Cool. What's up, Shelly? What's up, Daddy? What are you doing? Where's my KB? She is crafting it up in her little Oh, I gotta, still got a straight. She's so happy. I got a straight. Hey, guess what she's playing with? My scrapbook stickers. Oh, boy. KB is here. What's going on in here, baby? You crafting it up? Crafties? Let me see. Can you say hi to the people? You love your crafts? You can look over there. Ooh, you did that? Or you're chopping them up? This is cool. You love all mommy's old craft stuff? Trap books? Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. I've got the 825 lumen. 75 watt equivalent, which is 11 watt. We got the 14 and a half watt, uh, 1100 lumen, which is a 100 watt equivalent. And I got the 150 watt equivalent, the 21 lot, uh, 21 watt, um, 1600 lumen version. So what I'm gonna do is do these two here, in the 825, those two in the 1100, and those two, those two there in the 1600. You know, these light fixtures are getting replaced and all that stuff. Okay. So here you go, pretty simple. You just pull down. So this thing, you just, I'll show you the next one. You just pull it down. Then you unclip these little clippy things. And you unsqueeze and unclip the uh, Edison type. What is it E24? It's called E26. Ryan. And uh, so, first take the bulb out and then that. It's funny, Sacco Bulbs. That's uh, one of my GT3 buddies. And then uh, he owns that company, and then um, this goes in place. So, there's 3,000 versus 2,700. 
And that's the 825 lumen version. And we're gonna put the other 825 and see what that looks like. All right, so all you do is take this thing, pull down, like so, like that. Squeeze, squeeze that little finger, that pops off. See how it's on there? Squeeze that, pops off, and then just squeeze this. I don't wanna squeeze it because I'm gonna drop it. Not as drastic as you would think. So that's 1600. Those are the original incandescent bulbs. I didn't swap those yet. And that's 825. I think, I, I think I'm gonna do, I don't know. I'm gonna put the 1100s in the middle and we'll see. We'll see how it looks. But man, the room already looks so much better. I can see. All right, it's pretty subtle and the camera probably isn't gonna really show you, but 825 on the right, 1100 down the middle, 1600 on the left. So what I'm gonna do in the kitchen, I'm gonna do all 1100s. And in the living room here, I'm gonna do 1600s. So I'll get a couple more 11, or I'll get four more 1100s, and I'm gonna use the 825s in the uh, bathroom. That's what I'll do. And so I'm gonna make this one 1100 as well. So I need to order five 1100s, two 1600s, and we're good. So I don't even have to wait for my Creed dealership. I just ordered these from a thousand bulbs and eventually we'll have these. But yeah, these are just as good, if not better than this regular CR6. These are the CR6Ts. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? No, he's not, he's over here. So, look at that. Looks like it's frosted. Now, clean. we're not going to keep these lights, but for now. We can't stand them like this. <laughs> right, I'm going to put a 3000K bulb in there too. Oh, sorry, Jay-Z, I stuck in your foot. Get them. Yeah, it's still wet. Not wet. You wash your hands before you touch this. My hands are you wash your clean hands. as a whistle. I had it perfectly clean this morning and then Oh, by the way, you gotta empty the pantry. Oh. So, I'm gonna center this thing up. And see what I'm working with here for speaker placement. Man, I'd really love to have enough room to put subwoofers on either side, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I wonder, this might get in the way. Subwoofer here, and then subwoofer in the corner. I'm gonna take a look at the placement of this room. Do I center it on this wall? I think so. Ah, but the fan hangs down. How do I, how do I do this where it looks decent? I have to think about this, I'll let you know. Ooh, that looks darn good. Got some going in there, get that versus that. I'm gonna get all uniform 1100 Kelvin or 1100 lumen bulbs and then I'll put a dimmer over here. And uh, we're gonna clean this or turn out funky yuck. Man, but look at that, look at that door. If you guys remember, go back to video one and two and that door was black and dirty and disgusting. And just beat up and scratched up. Now we've got it super legit. You gotta do a little bit of organization to the, to the uh, laundry room. Yeah, we're moving. Oh, shit. There's another one there. Okay, so that, that's where I'll put another, another light bulb. So I think I'm gonna have one, two. Oh. I need one more. Shoot. That looks a little different. The lights aren't so bad anymore. We got one that looks like frosted. It's so dirty. And the other one, there's a 3K bulb in there. We've whitened everything up. This is gonna feel so similar to my last house, the brown house, the Hidden Oaks house, because this thing is shifted and I'm freaking out that the couch was a little off to the right and it was shifted over to the left. 
Uh, but again, the ceiling fan is going to go up near the ceiling and uh, that'll make it feel less off center. But this will be my captain's chair right down the middle, if you will. All right, the next step was to clean out this grate. And then what I generally do is go up in here with a vacuum and suck out all the all the other dust and hair and all the other crap that was up in there. So I got that clean out. And I also vacuumed off the top of each door jam and all that's over here. The details, the details. We're gonna make this place awesome. So look, we can park three cars in here. Now all this crap will be gone, but and we'll figure out some bike system. But for now, I think I'd be able to get all the cars in here. So that's the plan. I get them in here, and then plus I needed to clear that out so they could get the air handler out of there. So that's good. All right, first time we're gonna have three cars in the three car garage. Uh, it's gonna be good. Plenty of room to open the doors. Uh, Michelle's got a, she's got the Tesla, so we'll bring the Tesla in. It's gonna be nice. Most of the time, hopefully, I'll keep one car here in the middle, one car there on the side covered. I'm likely gonna put the lift in right here. And so most of the time I'll just park it out of the way, so we'll see. But remember, we're gonna have room here where that air handler is going. There's gonna be a nice little cabinet there, but it won't be as deep as that. None of this crap is gonna be over here on the left. This is gonna be clean and open as well. And so we're gonna have a nice little system with you know storing bikes and all that stuff. So we'll figure that out as we as we get into it. But at least I'm ready for the air conditioning people. I have to move a couple of things in the attic out of the way. And uh, the air conditioning people will prep us for the electricians. So the electricians have room because they're about to break through all the, the, the garage is sealed off from the house, but we need to create some space. We can access the ducting. And then, um, of course, we're gonna have a mini split in here, but then I'm gonna convince Mike to come and help me. We're gonna remove that door. Um, we're going to build a giant cabinet array all the way across. And, um, you know, air compressor is going to go in the corner likely. Uh, and so i got to figure out where I'm going to put my, my two mountain bikes. And uh, we'll have some, uh, like a nice, neat storage bin for a couple of balls for Ryan and Kate. We're going to get some closet organization for Kate so, you know, she can keep stuff in her closet. But this is going to, I think this is going to turn out pretty nice. So I'll leave the truck over there until Michelle gets home. And then we'll pull the Tesla in and I'll be able to see all three cars in my three car garage, oversized three car garage. Not just a three car, but a nice oversize. And pull them a little straighter there. So, that's some work to do, but looks good. All right, that's a wrap for day eight. So, I'm sweaty. The garage is good. I already showed them. Showed them. It's. I mean, it's not set up, but at least there's room to move around in there. Yeah, I got rid of several boxes. Look at the lighting difference, though. You can actually see me in here. Oh, it's so much better. So that's another day. I'm gonna sleep. I guess. It, oh shoot! Uh, not sleep in tomorrow because Grandma's coming to wake me up, and we're gonna get moving. Hopefully, you know, this weekend I'll have my TV mounted. Maybe some speakers going. Maybe some in-ceiling speakers, uh, and uh, what else do I gotta do? Lots of stuff. A lot of fine-tune organization. You know, when you get the, the master bedroom set up, you can know, set up five times. You're gonna set it up. all dirt out of here and hang some pictures on Yeah, we're gonna hang some stuff, get those off the wall, off the, you figure out what TVs are going Show where. lights again. Yeah, the lights look pretty darn good. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm pumped about this. I'm gonna grab some, uh, some dimmers likely, some Lutron dimmers, and so we can control the lighting a bit and probably grab some bulbs to hold us over until I decide what light fixtures we're gonna buy. But yeah, the painters, the, actually the, to paint the whole house was like 10,000. It's like 10,600, not too darn bad. Paint yeah, it all, yeah, that also included them fixing the wall, that included them setting up my fridge. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, fixing all, all the holes and patching all the goofy drywall anchors and all that stuff. So worth every penny to me. It smells, smells new and fresh. 
and clean. And so now we got to get all the drywall dust up and all of that stuff and back in the carpets and set the couch up and start to feel like we live here. And then we can start to make little fine tuning tweaks and stuff like that. And then I can get into the garage. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow, I guess. I'm going to keep this thing rolling. Keep you up to date with what's going on in the garage. I promise next week we'll get back to some car content and stuff like that as well. But I'm going to keep this vlog going so you can see the, the start to finish uh, aspect of the whole thing. So anyway, see you tomorrow.